This is bridge 154 on the Grand Union, Hemel Hempstead. And that's where we moored up last night, just casting off and walking down to this marina. Two beautiful working boats here. And then to the left is a pizza and bar. This is the marina. Vegetarian cafe there. Swing bridge they operate to bring the boats in. So this is Ashley Mill Marina. So hairdressers and a Indian cuisine as well. This is the old paper mill and an aptly named pub called the paper mill as well. changed into a paper making mill in 1774. In 1803 it was the first mill in the world to install a mechanised paper making machine. In 1818 it was bought by the Grand Junction Canal Company. In 1890 it was bought by the British Paper Company for recycling which continued until May 2000. Since 2000 it has been owned by the Ashby Paper Trail Charity which took it over to preserve the legacy. It's still a working mill with tours and also a shop on site. This lock was built in 1874 And the area that we were moored in was also called Stevenson's Wharf. So it was obviously a very, very busy area here before all these new buildings you can see ahead and along sides were built. So the wharf area seems to go on for quite some, some distance. And this is our first lock of the day. At lock 66, the Ashby lock, there's also a water point, waste disposal and an Nelson point. And we've just made a stop to take on some water. And then we're moving on again to the next lock of the day, the third lock, which is just at the end of this line. 
such a shame about the graffiti on the bridges. Such a shame. This is bridge 153. And the lock 65 is behind it. This is Lock 65, Ashby Top Lock. It's gone. Just look at that worn step. How many times the lock keeper coming in and out of there? Probably still does. Just ahead is lock number four of the day. Just behind me is um, an entrance in hedge to the farm shop. And just over there to the right, look, is a big B&Q. Very handy if you need something. B&Q stands on the site of the former Boxmoor Wharf. From 1946 until its final closure, in 1983, Boxmoor Wharf was the home of the company that made Rose's Lime Juice. At its height, the company had up to 25,000 barrels in the yard, which in the summer were sprayed with water to keep them cool. The delivery of lime juice by canal continued until the 1980s. Canal traffic ceased to the wharf in 1981. Rose's lime juice had then become part of Cadbury Schweppes and they finally left Boxmoor in July 1983. Every so often you see little remnants of how this used to look down this stretch of the canal. This beautiful railings. I wonder if there was once a lock cottage in there. Sadly, not now. This is lock sixty two. And we are finally getting more rural, even though we still have trains on the major roads just over there, you can hear them. So it's a bit noisy, but we're getting a bit raw, but you can still see how close the railway line is because of all the electric stanchions over there to the left. But look, there's more rings.
have to say this is quite nice to actually see the towpath being shared properly. We've got walkers and dog walkers, cyclists that are actually slowing down to go past people. Very rare sight, but it's actually quite nice to see. Sunday morning, nice and quiet, apart from the train. It's not morning now, is it? No, 25 past 12. 25 past 12. We've been going for a bit. We've done our sixth stop of the day. Um, two hours? Two yeah, hours. Yeah. 10 o'clock start. We left Hemel Hempstead. Well, we moored overnight at Hemel Hempstead by a bridge. And uh, we did have a bit of an incident in the night where I woke startled because the boat was actually being rocked. And um, I thought, no, that's my imagination. And it did it again. And I really, really thought that somebody was trying to get in on the boat. So I looked at the time. Not the side, didn't it? Not the side, just kept knocking the side. And I thought, oh, somebody's trying to get on the boat. No, we'd actually moored by a bridge that had some tags on. Well, unfortunately, nearly everything we've seen so far has got tags on. So we, we moored there. And anyway, I, I, I led there thinking, oh, you now we're going to get unwanted people on board. And then all of a sudden I saw a light looked out the curtain and this narrowboat came very gently by and I looked at the time and it was 2.45 in the morning so the knocking was actually the water being released from the lock above us so that did give us a bit of a scare I must admit but all was well all was well what have we got here then what's this So there's a boatyard here, but it's the other side of the lock, so obviously they're just mighty rock. Yeah, so there's a little boatyard with moorings, cranes and all sorts here, and it's just by the lock. So I'm just going to get off and do this lock, so this will be number seven. But, um, yeah, it's not actually on the map, we can't see no. just now. It says it's the other side of the lock before the bridge. We can't see the bridge yet. Okay, and the railway line. Just there, so I'm just going to get off and do this lot. This is lock number 61, and uh, yes, just hopefully it's set in our favour. According to the date stone on the other side of the wall, it says 1885. This is fun, so we've got a, a breasted up boats on the lock landing. And boats the other side, so just as well we're not a wide beam coming up then. And this is called Winkwell. This is the Middlesex and Hertfordshire Boat Services Well Deck Dock. Pump out diesel, water, coal, gas and mooring. All boat maintenance undertaken and engine rebuild services. This is the old Winkwell Dock. to slows everywhere. We're still only in the very early stages of August. Traditionally you pick slows after the first frost. All the slows I've seen be shriveled up by them. So pick them now if they've got a bloom on them and stick them in the freezer till you're ready to make your slow gin. So this is still the, the 
dock. It's quite busy. So it's nice to see they've obviously kept this from the original dock. With all the work still going on. Like it used to a few years ago. It's really good. I'm just coming up to this swing bridge. traffic and then behind it it's another lock oh hello look at these two hmm. little duckling hmm. maybe that's come from somewhere else look at that beautiful pub since 1535 the three horseshoes how pretty is that This is lock 58 done. The pound below, they're quite short pounds between the locks here, which is why we're doing so many in a day. Um, the one below is quite low, so we've got to leave the back paddles up. So I'm just going to go and empty, empty the lock or lift the paddles. I'm having, but I must say, I'm really enjoying my my windless ratchet and um, it's been very useful very useful glad I got it yeah you carry on I'll go and drop this and then I'll be with you totem pole is a genuine Canadian totem pole. It was commissioned by John Oldsford, who was the director of John Oldsford Limited. The totem pole stands on the site of the former yard. The totem pole was carved and designed by Chief Henry Hutt of the Kwakiutu tribe. here and train station there. Well, that's convenient if you need a train. quite shallow here and um, can't really pick it up on the camera but it's um yeah cause a bit of a problem just there. Can't more up here because it's so shallow. You can see the bottom of the other side. However we have now done half of the Van Union from the Thames. Half the locks. Half the locks of the <laughs> half the locks of the Van Union on the Thames. Start at 101, we've just passed 50, so that's 51 locks done, so we're over halfway through the locks. We're not nowhere near halfway on the GU. Locks. And they've been quite difficult locks, some of them. Um, glad I've got my wretched windless, I must say. However, we've done it now, so that's good. And we're hoping to moor up pretty soon and have a few days off for a bit of a rest. Yep. Just at the moment, we just can't. 
then there happens to be a pub right next to the lock. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. So they give the girls a good rest, give the dogs a good rest and nice walks. So that's what we're up to at the moment. So we've just got just a few more locks anymore to do. Did you say four? I think it's four now, yeah. Four and then that's it. One cow roast. Two, three, four. Four cow roast? Yeah. So oh, one's cow before. roast in the summit. And that up to the summit, so we've gone up quite a bit. Look at all the reeds. Look at it. I'm cutting it too. But look how thick it is. Is caught in the prop. <laughs> 